Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? We have t to the power of 3 divided by 2, and this equals 3 to the power of 3 divided by 2. Now we are solving for all values of t that satisfies this equation. So, if you consider this identity, a to the power of c, and this equals b to the power of c, now, since the exponents are the same, you can equate the base. That means you can say a equals b. So if you apply the same identity here, you are going to have t equals 3 because the exponents are all the same. Now, this is just one of the solutions. Now we have other solutions here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this step by step and find all the values of t that will satisfy this equation. This is just one of the solutions. So we have t to the power of 3 over 2 and this equals 3 to the power of 3 over 2. So what we are going to do will be to factor out this 3 so we can have it as t to the power of 1 over 2 and this is 3 to the power of 3 and this equals 3 to the power of this is 1 over 2 and this is also raised to the power of 3. So don't forget the fact that if you have a to the power of n and when you raise it to the power of n is equals a power n times n. So going by this identity, if you multiply this and multiply this, you are still going to get back to the same exponent. So the next thing we are going to do right now will be instead of having this t power 1 over 2, we can have it as square root of t. And this is raised to the power of 3. And this equals here, we can have square root of 3. And this is raised to the power of 3. So what we are going to do next will be to move this over here. That means we are simply going to have square root of t raised to the power of 3 minus square root of 3 raised to the power of 3 and this equals 0. So at this point, the exponent here is 3 and this is 3. So we are going to expand this using this identity if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b to the power of 2. So in this particular case, our a equals root t and b equals root 3. So what we are going to do will be to apply this identity. So we have a minus b, that is root t minus b, that is root 3, times a squared, that is root t to the power of 2 plus ab, we have root t times root 3, then we have plus b squared, we have root 3 to the power of 2, and this equals 0. So from here, what we are going to do will be, we consider this again, root t minus root 3 times this cancel this, so we have t plus root t times root 3, we are going to have root 3t plus this cancel this, we have 3, and this equals 0. So at this point, we are going to equate each of these brackets to 0. So we are going to have root t minus root 3 equals 0, or we have t plus square root of 3t plus 3 equals 0. So to solve this one, what we are going to do will be to move this over here. We have root t equal, this becomes positive root 3. So square root cancel square root. And we are going to have t equals 3. So this becomes the first solution that we have. This is our t1. That is 3. So to find the other values of t, we need to solve this equation. We need to solve this equation. So let's do that. For us to solve it, we can simply move this 3 over here and also move this over here. So we are going to be left with the square root of 3t. So we are going to have square root of 3t equal this becomes negative 3 and this also becomes negative t. Now in order to eliminate this square root, we are going to take the squares 
of the part of this equation. So this cancel this, so we have 3t, and this equals for this, we are going to have negative 3 minus t times negative 3 minus t. So from here, what we are going to have will be this is 3t equals negative 3 times negative 3, that's 9, negative 3 times negative t, that is positive 3t, this times this, we have plus 3t, this times this, we have plus t power 2. So from here, what we are going to have will be 3t equals 9, plus this is 60, this plus this, we have plus t power 2. So what we are going to do will be to move this over here. So we are going to have 0, and this equals 9 plus 60 plus t power 2 minus 3t. We have 0 equals 9 plus 60 minus 3t. This is 3t plus t power 2. So we can easily rearrange this. So we have t power 2 plus 3t plus 9, and this equals 0. So we have this quadratic equation that we are going to solve, and we can solve this using the formula method. So let's write the formula. We have t equals negative b plus or minus square root of, this is b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. So we have 1 here, which is the equation of t squared, that is our a. 3 here is our b, this is our c. So right now, we have t equals negative b. b is 3, so we have, this is negative 3 plus or minus square root of b squared. This is 3, 3 power of 2, minus 4 times a is 1, times c is 9, divided by 2 times a, that's 2 times 1, so we have 2 times 1. So from here, we are going to have t equal this is negative 3 plus or minus square root of this will give us this is 9 minus 4 times 4, 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 9. We are simply going to have 36. And this is divided by 2, that is 2 times 1. So from here, we have t equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of. 9 minus 36, this is negative 27, divided by 2. So from here, what you are going to have will be t equals negative 3 plus or minus, this is square root of negative 1, then square root of 27, divided by 2. So from here, you have t equals negative 3, plus or minus square root of negative 1 here, that is i times square root of 27. You can express it as 9 times 3, and this is divided by 2. So from here, we have t equals negative 3, plus or minus i times, we have square root of 9, times square root of 3, divided by 2. So from here we have t equals this is negative 3 plus or minus i times square root of 9. This is 3 times root 3. And this is divided by 2. So from here we can easily have it this way. So we have t equals this is negative 3 plus or minus. If you multiply this, you are going to have i3 root 3. i3 root 3. This is divided by 2. So you can have t equals, you can factor out 3 over 2. You have 3 over root 2 times, this is negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. So, that means we have two complex solutions. So we have t equals 3 over 2 times this is negative 1 plus i root 3 and also this is our t2 we also have another complex solution 
which is T3 and this equals 3 over 2 times this is negative 4 minus I over 3. So we have two complex solutions and one real solution. And the real solution here is 3 based on what we have gotten here. So if you want to actually check, it's very simple. So if you want to test, you have your t equals 3. So you just insert it here. This is t power 3 over 2 equals 3 power 3 over 2. You have 3 power 3 over 2 equals 3 power 3 over 2. Left hand side equals the right hand side. If you want to express it in a lower extent, you can have this as this is square root of 3 to the power of 3. And this equals square root of 3 to the power of 3. And 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So you can have square root of 27. And this equals square root of 27. This identity that I use here, in order to convert it here, is simply this. Remember, if you have a power n over m, this equals the m root of a to the power of n. So I made use of this identity here. So I was able to convert it to this form and to this form. So that is it. Thank you. And goodbye.